Welcome, part two. I didn't make enough room. Sorry for that. <laughs> so we need to make room for our loves in our lives, I guess. We really do. We'll make the room. We think we have enough room, but they require more room. That's another message. All right, beautiful souls. Thank you so much. Ascended stars, Ali Jade. Part one should be attached to the bottom at the show box below to this video, just in case um, you got this uh, in a different you know, format, different... Um, timing all right so this is my divine feminine divine masculine reading and i had been saying that this is uh something from the past that where there was an agreement to come in into each other's lives there's a lot of passion and um <laughs> you know with, with this deck there's a lot of lust there's a lot you know um so so i guess I guess we're looking at a tower moment with the divine feminine and um, we're going to do the divine masculine so let's peek into more of what's happening here they're in a stage of letting go they need to let go of um, you know I did get a comment from one of my divine masculines uh, and he said you know what you're you're right you're reading a uh, comment was like the one day syndrome that's been happening that was like one of these uh themes that was happening in, in june that people were like saying oh you know one day this one day that and the truth is one day is today divine timing divine timing so i've i've, I've this is a little bit of uh, what's interesting you know is everybody's in their own timelines like you're gonna you might see this consecutively or there might be a break because i had to i didn't have enough storage or whatever so you would have to make room for these interruptions and that's you know causing why the delays happen but we have to understand there's so much to be tweaked there's so much to be um yeah look at this and and they're also their spirit their swor their their work the spirit is working on their soul spiritually as well because this is the hangman and this is about you know um your north node like this is about where you're meant to be where your soul feels the happiest your purpose oh my so we have preparation the nine of wands you know i feel like this is using their wisdom to get themselves independent to value themselves enough to say that i don't need this um crutch of a person because you know it's i'm complete by myself i'm complete on my own this this is this nine energy but, you know, this is, again, adaption. We've been getting this card a lot. I got it yesterday, didn't I? Yeah, yesterday I got it in my, my daily read. So this week is really about adapting, adjusting, alternating. What needs to be released? Well, first of all, so let's see this one. Rejuvenation. So the Divine Masculine is really um, I, recalibrating. That's what the word I want to say, recalibrating. And you know how that's very delicate. It's it, I'm thinking of a safety box you know i um, it's interesting like uh you know those big boxes that are in the bank the metal ones and how somebody who knows how to listen for those clicks this is what i'm picking up with the divine masculine they have they don't even know how to hear their own heart it, it's tucked away inside that <laughs> inside that metal box <laughs> so they have to wait and listen to the click so this is how they're recalib recalib uh calibrating lovely lovely what are they letting go of? Surrender to attachment to results. This is huge. This is huge. Now, this is also something that the divine feminine has to do because, you know, you, well, you put something out there and, you know, the law of attraction is basically you put it out there, you put all your effort, you put everything, and then whatever comes back, you know, is what's coming back. And it hopefully it'll be bigger and better than what you wanted. But a lot of the time we're just so fixated. We're like the dog at the door when their owner leaves. So that's, that's the energy that they're working on. Surrender to receiving support and love. Allow the love and support of others in rather than trying to handle everything yourself. Yeah, I see that they try to not say anything. Take time, take the pressure off and simultaneously nurture you. They're taking time to nurture themselves. I love that energy. So the divine feminine I didn't do, but we got one. It says low self-esteem which is worth two, right? <laughs> which is worth like a ton, which is worth like 10 of those. <laughs> All right, so let's let's take a look at the middle energy. And I also have the cards. We're gonna do future energy with the Lenormand, Gypsy Lenormand type of deck. But then these are all the cards as I was shuffling for these things, they fell on the side. So what other side messages we have for our collective? 
All right, so um, first off, the Ascended Master, Holy Amethyst, Divine Alchemy. So both sides are really uh, trying to tweak themselves, trying to get themselves in this perfect vibrational, receptive love level, you know, which is great. So I, I love to see this. Oh, this is Ganesh here. Let's not forget Ganesh. Okay, so I'd love to see that. Should I put these up? Will you be able to see them if I put them up? Oh my goodness. Yes, you will. Look at that energy, okay? So this is the middle energy of what's happening in the union. Uh, they have to let, the masculine has to allow, open their heart, let things in. Blessings are coming to them, and so that will help to open up their hearts. You know, that will help to let, let them see. And these blessings are not necessarily going to be in the materialistic level. They can be very, you know, very much so. But it's more of the intangible, what I pick up here. Those things that, you know, a mother's smile, a mother's um, home-cooked soup when you're sick. Those intangible things are what the masculine is um, becoming abundant in is what I pick up okay and and the divine feminine is taking a look at her dark femme her the dark portion of herself that has blocked her from getting the love the true love that she wants it's, it's she's accelerated on this like it's you know it's being illuminated so this cancer new moon I think um, is illuminating the dark femme because the new moon is about the beautiful feminine you know the beautiful mother the beautiful giving loving kind um, you know, home, uh, the cozy home mother, but the polarity, since that's the energy, then we're seeing the polarity of that now more. So, okay, let's see. We have that. Then we have, um, spiritual growth. Both of both sides are spiritually growing. It came in upside down here. And now both sides are learning to appreciate where they're at right now. So that requires being realistic. A lot of people don't want to be realistic. Oh, I don't want to need to wear a mask. You know, I'm, I'm perfectly healthy. Realistically, yes, maybe, maybe yes, maybe no. But other people, other people, we're, it's all about other people too, not just reflective of ourselves. So the here and now is here and now with other people, where, where we are at with ourselves and with other people who are intimate in our lives. And then bringing more into that, like, you know, adding more to that happy happy so you have to like vibrate happiness not like oh poor me i'll never find someone love oh, oh look how beautiful okay so this union that's coming this is something that we're reaching towards either you have it or you don't what you got to surrender is your fear of intimacy both sides are terrified of intimacy uh you are already you are ready to let love in compassionately identify and begin to release any patterns that stop you from opening your heart now one of the huge patterns i'm coming across here of love block is wanting that final completion um closure what's the word closure with the last one and yes it is pretty traumatic if you haven't gotten the closure and we're left like you know um like an artery that's like just you know spilling out blood but you know that's the thing is like you can't you clamp that artery and you conserve everything and you and then you heal and you you don't wait for anything else so this is the thing is like you just have to move on yeah you, you got to move on you gotta just go take what you got you know take that little bag of what you got whatever it is and then just go and move and take it step by step away 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 i heard a big message today um yes it was that song oh god it was away from the past you know the, the, the message was it's an old 70s song but it's so great uh <laughs> i forgot the song I'll, hopefully i'll remember but it's like you know I, I kept hearing it within the words of the song i wanted to be far far away from the past far 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 away from the past so this is where i i i don't know it was like a download i got so the last one is frequency shift okay this is happening for many of my collectives and we just have to be patient and put our heels in there and do the work be in the now stay happy know that love is coming look even this one that's the what we need to surrender even that's beautiful so it's it's a journey of of like loving on yourself and finding your true love it's so beautiful let's see the the cards that came in 
uh, when I the ones that fell to the side. So what what's around what's surrounding this uh, environment and all this smorgasbord of this energy with the divine feminine on this side, divine masculine on that side. Um, what's a, what's what could be blocks? What could be things that are uh, disrupting envy? Envy and this energy I pick up with, uh, are, you know, the divine feminine envying the karmic. And, and and wanting to find out what's he thinking what's he thinking where should, you know is he with her is he you know with him whoever it is um with them <laughs> uh it i don't know but this okay so this is the energy that's creeping up that's that's going to be uh, blocking this love from coming to us so envy okay envy of somebody else we don't look at anybody else look at yourself in the mirror okay the the, the bible says you know before you throw that stone look at the own you know thing in your own eye paraphrasing but this is envy energy here surrounding negativity stuff for this union woman holding a coin again this would be something like the the woman doesn't have the self-value so she doesn't want to wait you got to listen to, uh, to that author John something men are from women are from Venus men are from Mars he's got a new book but we we are hormonal hormonally different I mean I mean like don't take anything personal because we're all functioning on different hormone levels and society has tried to pump us up to get our hormones off balance off whack and um, that's making us obese making us infertile but and they'll probably block me pretty soon on YouTube for saying this shit. But uh, this is the, what the truth. So you have to understand that you have to value yourself and build your self esteem. And sometimes we can't hormonally. Okay, hormonally, I, I had to take DHEA um, to get better because I was get falling into deep depression because I'm going into those older years and I ain't like that. So um, yeah, so this this is something that you need to look into carefully and i get most of my subs from you guys that age group that are is the same as me like heading into those years it's inevitable baby girls it's inevitable i try to ignore it okay a storm warning <laughs> i love it thank you universe so th what's happening is like guess what like i think each one gets really nervous going towards like doing the work and it's just too emotional like do i have to really do this emotional work do i really have to take a look at reality and deal with that pain from the past like i got to you know t temper the pain by facing it yeah i can take it from a scorpio moon if you don't it keeps coming back and back and back and back so a 10 all right, they gotta finish. Whoever it is, when I say they, they gotta finish their own um, crap here too. Like they gotta let. So this is part of this letting go energy, for the divine masculine. Wow, this is part of this letting go energy because they can't. This is the the one that it resonates with the most. So I would say this is going here. The, they're emotional, and that's the thing is the masculine. How do they express the emotion? We got fairy fire fairy creative action and optimism that's that's for real that's happening that's fire season right there and we got the wasp anger retaliation jealousy oh god i could go on i could take i could do a half hour on this card anger retaliation and jealousy um you know when you have self-esteem and somebody does something wrong you can give them one try you know, you fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. So, uh, my ladies, my beautiful queens, uh, my goddesses, do not be given more than two chances. You know what I mean? So, if 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 um if you get jealous or whatever, it's healthy. Healthy jealousy is these are these are healthy things. We should think we should talk about and discuss healthy jealousy. Uh, being Scorpio Moon, I would like that. But um, the whole thing is. When a woman tries to act like a man and get as many whatever, you know, that's where we've fallen. I, I'm, a, I'm a child from the Pluto of in Virgo generation. And I just saw, you know, when this, uh, the pill came in on, and then like women were like, oh, I could just be like a man and go and do it. But it, it doesn't work that way, darlings. It just doesn't work as, I don't know, anatomically the way it's supposed to for the man. He's made to function and be that way. Woman was created differently. So you have to just know your value and build a non-sexual a non-sexual um connection because that's how men value us non-sexually actually 
So, uh, but it doesn't show it in the 3D world. Everything on the outside, the cats, yeah. So have them come to you, have them seek you. Independence, healthy, and boundaries. Cats, if you call a cat like a dog, even dogs now these days don't come to you. They're so, you know, bourgeois. But like cats, that's the energy for my divine feminine. Enchantment. This is so beautiful. You're going to be enchanted with each other. Dreams. You're having a psychic connection. You're dream, you know, building up this. This is a nice time to build up that um, anticipation. Divinity came in. This is a beautiful energy, okay? It's about your uh, crown chakra and being connected on this ethereal, spiritual, mystical level. That's just, no one can, can really penetrate. Ace of Wands. It's it's a powerful, passionate love coming in, okay? But it is it, it's it's immature, and it, it, it all these things can fluctuate at the time. It's fragile, it's young, and it hasn't built. It has to be built up. It has to be built up. But it, there is some connection. There is a fire there. There is certainly sparks. So I'm gonna leave you with that, my sweets. Um, let's see. Let's see. Oh wait, two more. I'm gonna see two more. How do they? any love messages for my collective so the, the divine feminine wants to say something to her divine masculine how about that divine feminine and the divine masculine wants to say something to his divine they want to say two things to his divine feminine so for the divine feminine speaking to her divine masculine she says humility you have developed the loving awareness that you and everyone else are the same but on different paths. This is what she would like to see is a little humility from her divine masculine. Good luck with that. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> there are some beautiful men out there and I love you, you guys. But it's usually the ones that the women don't like and that's the hard part. Okay, here we go. Divine masculine commitment. You dedicate yourself to your beliefs wholeheartedly knowing that love is the essence of your very being. They, are, they really... Love this about the divine feminine, how commit, how, how much commitment they can have with the divine masculine. That's what I'm telling you. These like, you know, polyamorous games don't work anymore. They're not happening as good. They're not as strong as they were. People need that, that connection, commitment. They need to know who they can count on. And the divine masculine wants to tell you he really appreciates your kindness. You are a humanitarian made of love and you are able to share that energy with others. Oh, that's wonderful. So thank you guys for watching. Much love and light. Have a great day and keep it going. Put some comments on there. A lot of love to you guys. Take care.